Hello guys, welcome back to Unity Gurus. This is lesson 7 and in this tutorial we will learn how to make a life can so that we can get an extra chance when we hit this life can object. So without wasting a time, let's get started. Before starting, I would like to fix some issues. The first thing is that when we uh, instantiate our effect so it stays in the uh, hierarchy panel so right now we don't have any function to delete it because uh, if we continuously game running over and over again this will keep generating generating so there is no other way to delete it so uh, to delete this effect we will simply make a self destruct script so for that i will just quickly make a script self destruct we will later use this script in some other objects as well so it's better to create one okay so this will be very simple script public integer time and here i will call destroy this dot game object and the time is time so this is the duration uh, after after which this game object will be destroyed okay so we will assign the time from inspector let's minimize it and attach and go to our prefab and our big explosion effect and attach the script self destruct and give a time of three seconds okay so let's test this again the big explosion is instantiated and after three seconds it should disappear okay so now it's not uh, hanging around in the scene uh, one more thing I would like to fix is that sometimes uh, when you see the ball doesn't properly hit the can it sometimes goes through the can so for that uh, you can use some changeation in our rigid body component because since it's a uh, fast moving object so we will use continuous continuous for uh, the scan and continuous dynamic for our ball because since it's a moving object so continuous dynamic is used uh, mostly for fast moving objects and uh, since our can is not fast moving it is static so we will use continuous let me tell you that continuous dynamics will seriously affect your performance of the game because it has a really huge impact on your frame rates. but since our game is very small so i don't think there will be any effect to our performance okay so next task is to make a life can so to make that we will simply go to our prefab and uh, duplicate our bomb can and make it life can I, can I call it life can and so I will make material for this one so simply duplicate our bomb can texture and name it life can and I have already imported that texture so this is a green texture with some plus sign on it so I will simply replace the albedo map with this texture and there we go delete this uh, can from the scene uh, bring the life can into the scene and then uh, make the child of this object and assign the material to this object so if i can find this is the life can okay okay then i uh, simply apply so that this will also apply to this prefab as well next we jump on to uh, our visual studio and first and go to our can script okay so first of all we will make a public boolean is life can I know that this is not the perfect way to make this thing but since it's a beginner tutorial so I'm using it like this way so that you can understand it one more thing we will need public bool has collided right now if the ball can hit multiple time to the can and it will call this function multiple time which we don't want uh, we need to check that this function should call on a single time so uh, we will modify it slightly and then first of all cut this whole code and paste into this and we will check this condition here and sorry and okay this one 
okay so now we will check if the box has already collided true if we have successfully uh, collided in single time then simply return so don't call this method uh, because there are chances that the ball can hit with this can multiple times while falling on the ground which we cannot control so that's why we are checking right here that we have uh, calculated this stuff and collided then we we no longer need to collide it again and next we'll check if the collision is with ball uh, so that we don't accidentally check collision with uh, any other cans and here we'll check if it is a bomb can and else if and if is life can then we will call this kind of function just copy we don't need this whole function we just need this one and then after that and here we will has collided is equal to true so that uh, we don't uh, don't collide with again so we also need a new particle effect for that so simply public game object life effects and here we will instantiate life effects okay so if it is a life can then we will call this function else if it is a simple can so let's just make one more game object and like dust effects so if we hit like a normal can then we also uh, instantiate some basic dust particle effect so so dust effects if we hit life can then we'll instantiate life can and if we hit a bomb can then we will hit a blast can okay so first of all uh, i go to game manager and make a function to give him extra life so i will make a function like public void add extra life or add extra ball like that integer count and here we will check if total balls are less than five so we don't want uh, our balls to go beyond five then okay total balls plus equals five and ui manager dot instance dot update ball icons so we will update our ball icons in this game ui as well as in the game manager and we will simply call this function whenever we hit a life can so game manager dot instance dot add extra life one okay so this is our normal can uh, in the normal can we want dust particle effects so don't worry about this blast and life effects because we don't need them uh, in the basic can in the bomb can we have big explosion which is blast effects so and in our life can we just need life effects so i have already made this life effects so, and the dust particle uh, let me show you also that what are these these are dust particle we are very simple same like uh, the life particle just with in white color okay we also need to apply self destruct to this particles 3 seconds self destruct self destruct 3 second and this one i think everything is set up now let's try so first i will hit this normal can okay you as you see see it is instantiating the dust particle oh wow wow what happened okay now we have only uh, two balls so when we hit this ball we should get one more ball so no we didn't get any one more ball what the problem happened is that we didn't tick this life can so make sure to check this on let's try again and we have lost one ball i mean lost two more ball and this time we should get one extra ball when i hit the object okay as you can see we get one more extra ball and this is again like normal blast particle effect so our function is working correctly i have already made a 
imported a sprite this is a uh, extra ball so we will simply animate the scene whenever we hit the extra ball, extra life can so for that i will add this one in the scene and add some basic pop up animation so to add animation simply go to animation and create extra ball pop up in this we will simply increase its size from 0 to 1 make sure to press the recording button and then go to certain frame and set its scale to 0 then again set scale to 1 so this way we will get two keys one at the beginning and one at in the end so in the beginning we simply want 0 and in the end we want 1 so this will like so we want this to uh, open very quickly and then hold for a couple of frames like so and after that again go to zero so this will be something like this okay maybe a little faster and something like that okay that's fine stop this one and press this again so we can return back to our panel and uh, go to animator and check this uncheck this loop because we don't want the loop animation next we go to our life can and we want into the child of this life can and hit reset position hit apply so now it is a child of our life can object and in the beginning disable this extra ball icon okay so we will enable whenever we will instantiate our particle so let's jump into the coding again and add this thing as well so in the can method now it's looking clear so uh, to get the reference of this can we know that this is the uh, one and only child of this life can so we can get the reference to easily so first we will cache this object because the instantiate method returns and game object which we can store in a game object reference and then i will simply call fx dot transform dot get child and index is zero because this is the one and only child we know that there is not there are not any other child object so we will just call the first child and then game object or set active is equal to true play and test this again ai hitting okay as you can see we got the message extra ball and we will also get one additional ball when we load the next level as you can see we have now five balls which we have just uh, in the game manager here we have added one extra ball so that's pretty much it for this tutorial and see you in the next tutorial you can download the source file in from the description below thank you guys thanks for watching